Okay. Um. My hair's pink. Like it? Like it? Like it? I like it? Do you like it? I feel like bubblegum. I feel like a pink lady. I feel like a Powerpuff girl. Uh, I feel like a flower. I just feel really, really freaking cute today. <laughs> but <laughs> let me tell you about how I got to this, this, this point in which I got my hair done. <sighs> Basically, so I've been wanting to dye my hair pink or purple, some pastel color since like January, which right now it's like September. January was like nine months ago. That's a really, really long time. I was in Washington, I could have dyed my hair. I tried to dye it purple, it just wasn't too, it wasn't light enough, so I was just like, okay, whatever. Won't do it now. So I started working at my work and they said that he, I couldn't have pink hair, so, or purple hair, or anything, just no colored hair because of the place where I worked, like in the neighborhood where I was at, in part of town, just like, a lot of like older people, they wouldn't get it, so it's fine, whatever, don't really care about that. I mean, I kind of did, but like, I've had to deal with that situation a lot in my life, so I mean, I'm used to it by now. So, a, a week after I put in my two weeks, and a week before, I was done with work. I made an appointment at this new like hair salon that my mom started going to just like 15 minutes away. I was really excited because it was in a part of town that I really really liked so I was like oh cool new hair salon in a part of town that I really like that's cool like awesome gonna give them business yay and um, my mom has gotten her hair done there like so many times like not so many times but like twice this summer and it looked really good both times so I was like okay that sounds cool um, so, they're like this nice French salon that, like, they're from France, they are from Paris, barely speak English, like, very, very nice, like, when you come in, you're greeted by a guy in a suit who's, like, the son, and, um, like, very nice, very swanky, like, a modern, beautiful, like, hair salon. So. I told them, okay, so I want to dye my hair pink. Like, either all of her highlights or like just pink, just pastel pink. She had told them about me and how I wanted to dye my hair like this color ish. So they had the picture there and everything, so it was fine. Like, cool, awesome. So I figured they knew what. Like I was talking about, because they had the color there, they had the Wella like like light pastel shades. Like a week later, I come in there, and he asks if I have a picture. So they show I show them the picture. That's also the one that they have in the salon, like in their little in their little in their little book thing. So I do that, and they're like, "Oh, hey, that's in our salon. That's cool." So the younger guy didn't do it, but the older guy, who's like the actual owner of the store, who like really like cannot speak English. Like he very, 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 very French. I mean, both of them are very French. So they're just like, okay, so we're gonna um, dye your roots because I my roots I was kind of doing like a brown to blonde ombre. So it's like at this at that point my roots were like to there just because that's what the ombre did plus like my actual roots. So they dyed my hair or they started bleaching it, like put the foils in. I'm like, okay, cool. And like, they're telling me about how in France they do like little, um, they do little highlights instead of the big fat ones or something. And so then when they were done, they realized that they had missed like that much of my roots on the top, about like that much or so. This whole time they didn't tell me what they were doing really because like they couldn't really speak English very well so I just kind of had to trust that they knew what they were doing. They put the foils in my hair so then they started putting the pink in and he was he told me I'm gonna do more blonde than pink and I'm like okay I guess like I was a little disappointed by him saying that so I just kind of went along with it like I, I'll deal with there being some blonde and pink and maybe like when I go home I can go over it and like put some more pink in and it could be really pretty like 
like dimensional pink hair like that's cool right as long as I have pink in my hair and like enough that I can see it that's cool with me so we put some in and like this whole time, and I'm just kind of feeling around on my head to see where he put the foils for the pink. Because, like, I wasn't in front of a mirror, I was just kind of like, it was just a chair, like, in a table. So I couldn't see what he was doing. It seems like it, it seemed like it was a lot. Like, it seemed like he had put, like, a decent amount all over my head. So it looked like there was going to be, like, highlights in my head, like some cute pink highlights. And um, so he took me to the, get it washed out, so I washed it out. I'm like, okay, I mean, maybe he's gonna put some pink like right there too. Because like, it'd be, it just seemed kind of weird to me to not have, just have them kind of like in the bottom or something, but I, whatever. And then um, he put me in the chair in front of a mirror and the, my first thought was, where's the pink? Like, I didn't see any pink in my hair. Then he started blow drying it, and he's just like, like with my hair, he's like, see, see, see the pink? Like, there's some pink. And literally, there was like a streak there, a streak there, and maybe like a streak there. But it was still like really blonde. He took out the, um, the foils that were right here, and he still had mist so much well, that doesn't look good but here is the button like this is what broke the camel's back he was blow drying my hair and he like was kind of like scrunching it up and putting the blow dryer like scrunching it up putting the blow dryer he like when I was done he it was it looked like I had got electrocuted like that was how he wanted it to look that he couldn't even blow dry my hair like a normal person and then when I went to get to pay like he's just like oh yeah so here's some hair products you need just some hair products put like six minutes for the shampoo and eight minutes for the conditioner and I'm like I don't need that right now actually like I know this is gonna be kind of expensive and I'd rather not spend all of my money that I ha have on hair products so he shows me how much it is It is $381 for my shit haircut. And I was like, paid them and just left and called my mom and I was just like, I hate this. I hate my hair. It looks so bad. There are like two highlights. Why are there two highlights? I did not ask for two. I was so mad. I was so mad. So I went and got my hair done by the person that I actually get it done by if she had. She is such a sweetie. Like she had some time available, did this, and this is exactly. Lesson learned to me though, lesson learned to me. And to you guys, if someone <laughs> gives you a crappy haircut or dye job and then pay you, or and then charge you more than you've ever spent on hair, ever, ask for a refund. Ask for a refund. Do not do what I did. Don't be shy and be like, oh, but they needed help. They're so new. They were very nice. Maybe next time. No. No. Don't do that. Don't do that shit. It made me so angry. It made me so angry. I've never had anybody mess up on my hair that badly. I've had people mess up on what I've wanted before. Like, a lot. Like, I, for some reason, just do not have very good luck with hair salons, except for, like, two in my entire life. And even they would at least blow dry it and make it look like this. So, lesson learned to you guys, don't do what I did. I am in the process of making a new cover. I even have some songs written, and that will be with you shortly. I'm also moving in a week so hopefully the next time you see me or not I don't know the next time you see me or the next few times you see me this background here is going to be completely different so see you guys later peace love happiness peace